Advancements in technology have made fertility tracking more accessible than ever before to couples who are trying to have a baby. But does all of this technology really help or does it add stress to what can already be a stressful situation? Sometimes this technology raises more questions than it answers um, and I think a lot of couples get really caught up in the aspect of tracking and timing and charting and that's certainly part of the equation but it's not the whole thing. And that's why doctors often talk about fertility technology with patients. There's so much on the market, it can be overwhelming. For example, there are several smartphone apps that are available that help track ovulation cycles, including a relatively new app that will analyze a man's sperm count as well as the sperm mobility. There are also over-the-counter tests that can be purchased at a pharmacy that will give at-home sperm count results. Doctors say after trying to get pregnant after six months to a year, if there is a history of gynecological problems or irregular periods, you should focus on other potential factors with the help of a professional. In a general way, for people who are interested in this kind of thing, it can be reassuring or even helpful. But I think once a pattern has been established, a lot of the talking that we do in the office is about other kinds of tests that we can order to figure out really what's at the bottom of their infertility. So here's the bottom line. Technology may be helpful, but patients should understand technology is still in the early stages. And while it might be a good place to start, it's always best to follow up with a professional after doing any test at home.